going on guys i'm priaxis and i'm back with another video and in this one here i'm going to be teaching you guys how to use hamza chimaev now if you are unaware he also just got a stat update it wasn't too much things but i will put every update that he got to his stats in the description below if you want to check those things out now let's move forward to his stat uh yes his stats you guys see here perks he has fast hands predator wrestle clinic and out the gates now feel free to pause the video if you want to read each and every one of those individually as we go over to the stand-up stats the thing that stands out he has very good power and that's about it yeah he just has power that's it guys he has fast hands but he just has power and i say fast hands as in the perk as you see right here now we'll go over to the stand up i mean we'll go over to the grappling this is where he excels at um, takedowns is 94 top control is 94 uh, submissions is 94 as well ground striking 94 so you really want to wrestle with Hamza Chimaev as obvious as it sounds there's some guys out there that will use Hamza and try to strike just because he got a one punch knockout against uh Grant was like Grant Mershaw or something like that now whatever we we'll go over to the help stats and I'm not really sure why his chin stat is so low I don't think he's been knocked out before I don't even think he's took a loss like Hamza hasn't lost yet right now uh, he has cardio of 91, the body health is 88, legs 88, the recovery is 90. So it's like, he hasn't even shown, you know what I mean, that he has a good chin. So to be fair, you have to give him a, a better chin than 92 or body health or leg health. He hasn't taken many strikes. So you got to give him his respect on the health stats. But hey, EA will be EA. I promise you that. Right. So we go over to the uh, his top moves, and he has the rear hook level four, the wrestling double leg level four, and the rear uppercut is level four as well. Now, he has wrestling transition level four also, but what I'm going to do is jump into practice mode and get a deeper analysis of Hamza Chimaev, okay? Let's go. All right, want to click start, scroll down to game, help, view moves. The jab level three, cross level three, lead hook is level three. I'm sorry, the cross is going to be at level four because that's the strike that he did knock out. Uh, I'm probably saying his name wrong, but like Greg Mershart knocked him out one punch with that straight he has a lead hook of level three the rear hook is level four and if you look at that it's actually pretty decent hamza boxing is pretty decent in ufc4 and i, I don't want to say hamza boxing is pretty decent in, in uh you guys be like oh no he's good in like people i'm talking about ufc4 okay so let's get that be clear but his lead hooks his jabs uh his crosses and then um the uppercuts are pretty good body jab level three body cross level three the body hook look at this he has some pretty good boxing on him problem is his speed is like an 88 or 89 so that's where the problem lies in but he has some very good boxing okay but we go over to the kicks level two calf kick level three rear lat calf kick okay and you scroll down two stars on the roundhouses one star on the lead roundhouse to the head two stars going down here and not much i mean I don't expect to be throwing many kicks with Hamzat, but you do see he does have body knees, flying knees, and that is really about it. But we'll go over to the uh, important parts of Hamzat, and you guys see the clinching. He has three stars going all the way down until you get to the collar tie, and that is actually a four star. Okay, so any strike that you throw in a clinch will be a three star. And now we we'll go over to the takedown. He has three star single legs, four star double legs. Power singles, three stars. Power doubles going to be four stars as well. Wrestling takedowns, level three. And the BJJ slash judo takedowns are going to be level four. Then we go to the ground. The ground straights are going to be level four. The ground hooks, level three. Level threes on the uh, ground body hooks. Okay. So basically, it looks like only... Okay, nope. I said that wrong. Here we go. The ground elbows is level four. The ground straights are level four as well. The ground uppercut is level four also. I don't know what uppercut is on the ground, but I'll take it. So we go over to the submissions. You guys see he has level one arm bars, level three guillotines, orthodox, unorthodox chokes are going to be level two, and orthodox chokes are going to be level two as well. So not really crazy submissions, but he does have a 94 submission stat. Then we go over to the combos. He has three star boxing, um, one star kickboxing, and one star Muay Thai. So for the most part, what we're going to be doing is wrestling and boxing with Hamza Chimaev. Now, I'm going to go ahead and jump into the first fight, guys. If you enjoyed any parts of the video, don't forget to hit the like button. We are literally like 150 subs away from 50K. So, appreciate you guys. Let's go ahead and get started, though. Okay, Mutt Master King. So, this guy looks like he's going to be on a second account. Do I, have my, I don't even have my AirPods in. Whatever. So, he's using Gilbert Burns, and this is going to be very tough. Because Gilbert Burns can box 
and he also has real good jujitsu. So we're gonna have to be very careful in this matchup. And this is honestly one of Hamza Chimaev hard matchups. Uh, I honestly I feel like Kamaru Usman is an easier matchup than Gilbert Burns due to Gilbert Burns jiu-jitsu and his ability to you know do work on the ground but right now we're just working with the jab jabs and the crosses trying to get a you know a feel for what he's trying to do he throws a jab throws a cross jab to the cross of the body throws a cross up top okay but the downside to Gilbert Burns is he doesn't have a great chin so that's something we can definitely look to exploit nice jab jab cross and we have like I said we have 94 power but they go to three piece and he has fast hands so we can utilize that perk as well let's shoot the takedown oh i tried to shoot a takedown there there we go i'm trading a little bit this guy's not really showing me too much um or too much that i'm worried about nice low kicks there we go that's what i should be worried about eating low kicks cross let's shoot the double leg we're gonna drag it oh he denies it see what he's gonna do he's trying to drag me to the cage okay i don't need to trade right here because my head off is low so i'm gonna back up okay and uh he's leading with like jabs and crosses so i'm gonna plant my feet and just throw a cross and try to land that to stop his uh forward moving progress and also stop his strikes so you guys can see he's actually starting to set me up nice with the low kicks i actually blocked that one which is nice jab cross cross lead hook okay we catch the kid, gonna take him to the cage. Boom, we go here. What? I guess Hamza Chimaev doesn't have the turn and take down. Boom. Nice high kick. Nice low kick. Like I said, this is a hard matchup, guys. In my opinion, one of the hardest matchups for Hamza Chimaev, if not the hardest, due to Gilbert Burns' ability to strike. We check that kick also. Okay. Throw a three piece there. His power is definitely not to be played with. Nice low kick. Nice low kicks. Boom. Counter uppercut. Okay. And he's chopping my leg away. He's chopping my leg away. Shoot the takedown. We turn it. Get him down to the ground. And this is just a takedown to not really do much damage. But if I get the opportunity, I will. But this is mainly to, to stop him from kicking my damn leg. Okay. We go here. It's just gonna punch his body to the round ends. Boom, he gets up. Now I need to worry about a high kick or a low kick. He faints a high, he goes low. We actually do check that one. So that's a that's a positive, right? We've checked a lot of his kicks. Probably like three or four of his kicks have been checked, so that's definitely a positive for us there. I want to scroll. Let's see. Okay, so he threw 108, landed 50. I threw 72 and landed 40. Shot three takedowns, landed one, but that was near the end of the round. Here we go. My lead leg is getting chopped up. But again, I do have a real good power. We check that kick too. That's what I want right there. If I can get him to stop throwing the low kicks because his rear leg is... Uh, you know, he's eating a lot of check damage. Then that'll definitely be a positive for us. But you can see that he already looking to mix it up. As you see, he fainted low and then went high, went high with the kick. Shoot the takedown. We're going to dump it. Boom. He actually denies it. He's going to throw two knees to my head. And a punch at the end. We throw the cross. Faint. Jab cross, Lee hook. Nice. We check that kick again. And that's the mistake that he's making is continuously throwing that low kick and one of these kicks i'm going to actually look to duck nice nice okay let's clinch him oh i tried to clinch him i was gonna throw two knees okay faint you just gotta be careful with uh hamza i know like i said the stats stats say differently oh he got good stats Oh, or not stats, but he got the good high-level moves, but he's slow. Hamza Chimaev is extremely slow. He has real good power, but you got to land first. Right? Go up top. Faint. Okay. 
Pushes me back. Once. Oh, man. Okay. We check that kick. Okay, we catch this one. Oh, man. He's denying our takedowns easily. Oh. My. <laughs> we get a knockdown with the check kick Here we go, we're going to try to go to the side control He denies it I assume he's going to try to go Boom, we deny that Go the opposite way, get into side control Boom I assume he's going to try to go to the right Nope, he goes to the left Okay And like I said, man, this is a hard matchup Due to Gilbert Burns' ability to um, You know Strike Gives Hamzat problems in UFC 4, man. Hamzat Jemayev doesn't have the best strike. He's probably going to go up. Okay, he goes to the guard. 30 seconds left in the round. You guys can see I'm, I, it's clear that my lead leg is tore up. Let's go to or it's his. Boom, we get out. Okay. Probably going to go to the left. Let me to the right. There you go. Okay. It's definitely tough. And for all you guys that want to uh, use Hamza, ask yourself, how many Hamza Chimayas do you actually see in rank? Look at Gilbert Burns' ears. He got the Shrek ears. How many Gilbert Burns do you actually see in rank? I mean, not Gilbert Burns, but Hamza Chimayas. And there's a reason why. He doesn't, honestly, as I'm using him, he, his boxing, uh, it feels a little, it feels extremely slow. I can tell you that off the rip. Right? Gilbert Burns has some fast hands, but Hamza feels pretty slow. Um, nice. Shoot the takedown. We're going to turn it. Boom. Nope. He stuffed that one. And, ooh. Okay. You guys can see this guy has real good takedown defense, so. When you go get somebody like this, it only makes it even harder for you. It literally only makes the fight harder for you when you go against somebody with good takedown defense like this guy here. So now it's kind of forcing me to strike, right? And this is the problem when you use people. This, this is why you don't see Hamza Chimaev in ranked because if you can't get the fight to the ground, you have a real tough fight trying to deal with fighters like Gilbert Burns, Usman, Let's clinch him here. Oh, I tried to clinch him, not throw it over him. But anyone with some good takedown defense, I'm not even takedown defense, just jujitsu or a very good on the ground and can deny takedowns, another high kick. Okay. Nice. This is a tough fight. This is a very tough fight. Because I'm forced I'm forced to stand with someone that, you know what I'm saying, that obviously has better standing stats and then definitely can do work on the ground. So when, I, when you talk about effective counters on uh, as far as fighter picks, Gilbert Burns is definitely one of those to uh, Hamza Chimaya. Okay. Faint. I want to try to duck a high kick. You throw the uppercut there. Across. I want to bait him. Let's bait him. Let's take the block low to try to get him to throw a high kick. Nice. Okay. Boom. One, two. I'm gonna hold, hold the hands low. Nice low kicks. Nice. Nice low kick. You got to see, man. This man is slow. Woo! Hamza Chimaev is tough to use. This guy has some real good takedown defense. 
So am I one for three, four, five, six. So I'm one for six on takedowns right now. There we go. Throw a three piece right there. Shoot the single leg, boom. Ankle pick, he denies it, nice. Oh, that wasn't a rock. Okay. Okay. Let's clinch him. Two knees, try to get him on the cage. Try to do some work from here. We're gonna take the back, we're gonna drag him. Drag it up, boom, get him down to the ground. Now we need to control Gilbert Burns on the ground, but thing is, he has some real good jujitsu. One, two, three, four. Oh, that was supposed to be a denial. I'll take it though. Boom, he denies that. Now, what he's probably going to do is go uh, look to get up. We're going to have to deny one of these transitions. Yeah, he's definitely going to just sit here because last time I actually denied his takedown or his transition. Oh, we denied that one. Let's throw a punch. His transition. Boom, we get the backside. Okay, boom, we denied that. The most obvious thing is do is go back mount. So we're going to go with the back sitting. We take his back here. Uh, it's mo it's obvious that he's probably gonna go up with the transition. So the second he tries to transition, actually nope, we're gonna go. Oh no, he denies the top mount. Okay, boom, that was smart. So he mixed it up there. One, two, three, four, five. We're gonna reverse the position. Okay, fake the arm triangle. Boom, we get the side control. He goes back to the sprawl. We're gonna throw the punches to the body. Boom, he get back up to the feet. Like I said, this is the problem with, with uh, Gilbert Burns, man. We actually gotta switch stances. I don't wanna take any, oh, there we go. We get the rock, body, body. Let's clinch him, throw two knees to the head. Oh, I didn't wanna clinch him again, my bad. I don't want to clinch you again. Here we go. I'm really looking to duck that high kick that he he's possibly going to throw. We still have a chance here due to our power, but it's going to be tough. It's definitely going to be tough. Okay. Let's clinch him, throw two knees to the head. Nice. Nice. Faint. Jab, cross. And that's the end of round four. Okay. Good round, bro. I want to check the stats. Uh, I don't have enough time. All right. I'm going to assume he's winning like all these rounds maybe not the last one but for the most part he's winning all these rounds but he isn't also i'm noticing that he isn't throwing uh he isn't throwing i just check that kick jab oh nice boom you catch him there let's clinch him i tried to clinch him but he threw it over him okay there we go boom oh man let's clinch him Okay. I'm not going to clinch spam him. Just a quick little clinch right there. Let's see if you can sidestep him. I don't want to. The thing is, I haven't went to his body because if I get caught with one uppercut as I'm trying to go to his body, it's curtains for me. There we go. We get the rock. But I, I went to his body there as I rocked him, you know, which is, you know, quite obvious. Okay, and you can see he's kind of on the back foot. He tries to take me down. Let's throw two knees to his head because he's going to be looking to block the takedown. Throw a knee, punch at the end. Okay. Boom, he tries to take me down there. We deny it. Okay, get our stamina. Knee to the head, knee to the head. Break the clinch, and you guys can see that he now he wants to try to wrestle me. Because he knows he uh, he can probably win a decision. He 
probably can win a decision. And that's probably why he's looking to play how he's playing. Okay. Nope. And that's tough. Let's shoot the takedown. Boom. Here we go. We did not that. Try to get the crucifix. That's what he's gonna do. He goes boom back to the guard. Okay. Fake. He denies that. He denied that. Boom, we get to the half guard. We got one minute left on the clock. Posture up. Posture back down. Boom, get top mount. What is he gonna do? He goes to the left. Let's try to go side control. We get side saddle. We got 30 seconds to work. He goes here. Let's wait a second. And then posture up. And this is it. This is for the marbles right here. He starts to go up. We did not that. That's it. That's the end of the fight. Good fight. You guys can see here, this is a very tough matchup. A very tough matchup due to Gilbert Burns being better than you in striking. And he can run with anyone in the welterweight division when it comes to the mat. And that's why this is a very interesting matchup in real life. But as you guys see, as the fight was progressing... Um, I was able to do work now the, here's the thing if I was able to continue to check his kicks and I didn't eat so many of those leg kicks this fight would have been much easier for me but I ate too many leg kicks and the result of that was this fight now I'm not really sure what the judges scorecards are going to be I personally can't hear them the judge is going to read it off for you guys but I'll wait to see who gets their hand raised but it was a good fight nonetheless it was a good fight you guys can see how I tried to implement my game plan in this fight versus him uh it was just unfortunate very unfortunate let's see i got the win i want to check and see how exactly i got it but um this was a very good fight and i think you guys can learn a lot from this one here uh division 20 opponent obviously somebody on a second account and um i was able to get the dub i want to check the stats man how many take i shot i went three for ten i mean that's not really in a five round fight i shot 10 takedowns i wouldn't say that's spamming that's two takedowns per round technically um so and i wasn't really clinch spamming either so we checked the stats here i had five minutes of control time he landed more strikes had more significant strikes but i wonder what happened so round one at least let's see round one went to him round two probably went to me i got three leg health events maybe it went to him Round four, I mean, I'm sorry, round two. Round three is his. Round four is mine. Round five is mine. And that's what happened. What happened was um, it was this round right here where I got three leg health events. This is why he lost his fight. It's because round two and the leg health events that uh, that happened. If he, if he didn't, that didn't happen, he'd win this fight. But I won 40. I won 49-46. EA Sports. It's in the game. All right. I ain't got nothing to say, y'all. I'm moving on to the next fight. Wow. Yo, DQ. Okay, so he's Division 13, right? So I don't think he'll be too competitive, but I never underestimate my opponents, and I love to fight somebody a low-ranked division so I can show you guys out there that are currently low-ranked divisions how to deal with, you know, people that are in a low-ranked division. Now, this matchup here, guys, it's GSP versus Hamza Chimaev. Uh, I bet he does something when I start walking up to him. Okay. So, basically, who has the boxing advantage? GSP kind of, I have more power. GSP chin isn't too great. I believe it's 91. This is the five-star GSP. As you guys can see, he's already trying to take the fight to the ground. Right? Okay. Now, thing is, GSP off the back isn't that great. Like, GSP strike. I mean, GSP when he's, uh, you know, obviously the dominant fighter. Now, we take him down. We go here. Now, I'm going to expect this guy to get the fight to the feet, right? Nope, he doesn't. Boom, so we go here. Let's fake. And you guys can see he's biting on the fake transitions, as you see the grapple advantage meter at the top of the screen. We deny that. And this fight's going to be a quick one. I can tell you that right now. It's going to be a quick one. You get the crucifix. Now, he's probably going to start squirming like a worm in crucifix. We deny that one. Nope, we actually didn't. Okay, so he goes here. And I don't want him to get... There we go. Nice. He actually did that. Nice. Okay, okay. I like that. 
But a lot of these guys, okay, we did not that. We throw one, we throw two. Go top man. We got the full grab advantage. Let's see what he's gonna do. We're just gonna wait. See what he's gonna do. See what he's gonna do. He does nothing. So we're gonna go ahead and posture up and try to smash. And he's about to get knocked out. <laughs> he gotta do something. Let's see if we did not that. Nope, we didn't. Okay, let's posture up. We're gonna be able to get the half guard from here. Now, in order to do that right there, guys, you want to posture up. And if you have a, a decent amount of stamina advantage against your opponent, you can hold down right bumper and that option to go half guard will appear. Now, we go here. Now, the way this guy's playing is he's very aggressive on the ground with his transitions. So, I actually get the crucifix here. So, basically, I don't have to do too much. I don't have to be extra aggressive. He's going to let allow me to deny his transitions on the ground. And now, he goes here. Nice. Boom, he goes here. Now, I'm not going to make that mistake again by being so obvious. Like, again, so we're going to wait. See what he's going to do. Throw a strike. See what he's going to do. Boom, he tries to transition. See, he's, he's transitioning very, um, very predictable. Very predictable. Okay, let's pass her up from here. Do the same thing we was doing last time. Boom, he gets that. He goes to the left. We'll go back to side control. He denies it. Nice. Let's see what he's going to do. He tries to go. Nope. Try to go the opposite direction. Usually we would go side control there, but we're actually gonna go. Um, we're gonna throw hooks here, but we actually went to the top mount this time. Now this time we're throwing hooks because he's been. You see how he's moving his head to the side oddly like that. Let's do a punch. Let's pass her up, and then we're gonna look to smash again. And then you guys can see he's basically moving his head side to side. Let's see if he knows how to. Nope, he didn't think about denying the posture up again. See, as you can see, he's not he's not framing any of my hook shots. He's literally only holding block and moving his hands. Uh, you know, I'm sorry, holding block and moving his head side to side. So, yeah, this this fight, as far as ground and pound, could possibly end early or, or you know, this round or next round. Or it don't be good if, if that's his whole defense is slipping and I'll just throw hooks because he's not looking to frame any of my hooks. Because if he does slip his head, he has the opportunity to one reverse the position or get the fight back up to the feet. So again, I don't want GSP off on uh I don't want GSP striking. I mean GSP on top. Okay. Let's see what he's doing. This guy was very aggressive as far as his takedowns. Jab cross roundhouse to the body. But let's see, is he going to be aggressive with his takedowns like he was last round? Because I kind of Got the best of him on the ground. Okay. Two. And you guys can see I'm kind of playing a little bit more aggressive. I'm not worried about GSP's power in his hands like I was with Gilbert Burns. Now, GSP does have some pretty good, you know. Well, actually, GS, this GSP has the, uh, you know, the ugly kicks. But um, I'm pretty sure he has some, uh, some oh, man. He has some dangerous kicks that I want to watch out for, but he's going to overall be a better kickboxer than me. So I want to keep the fight in the pocket, as you guys see here. But let's shoot a takedown because I know this guy's ground game isn't that great. So I know I can utilize and try to do some groundwork on him. We shoot the takedown. Didn't work. Cross up top. Jab up top. Okay, we go here. We're going to put him on a cage. I actually got off of the cage. I kind of felt, felt pitiful doing that to get him on the cage now what he's doing is he's going to my body right there we go now i'm gonna hit him with an uppercut every time he throws something i'm gonna just throw an uppercut oh i couldn't throw it there but he's, th he's blowing a lot of stamina and i'm not taking too much damage uppercut there let's shoot the takedown boom we're gonna turn it boom get him down to the ground let's see what he's gonna do he goes to the left. What is he going to do? Let's try to go back to side control. He denies it. Nice. Nope. Goes to the right. We deny it. Let's throw a punch and then transition. Just get him thinking that that one punch was an animation of me trying to transition. Okay. Let's fake that. Nice. Let's see what he's going to do. Okay. He does nothing. He goes to the right. Let's posture up. Try to get back to side control. We can't. We don't have the enough stamina advantage. As you guys see here, he's not framing. He's not looking to put his hands up and block hooks. He's literally just holding uh, one, two. Last time we threw one strike, this time we're going to throw two. But he's li literally just moving his head and holding block. Boom, we denied that. Elbow, 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 elbow. 
Get the crucifix. There we go. 50 seconds left on the clock. We denied that. Wait a second. Boom. Boom. We go here. Now we're going to posture up and literally just rain down strikes. It's only 20 seconds left in the, in the clock. Boom. He reverses the position, but thing is, he doesn't have much time to do work. And then we goes here. Now, I don't want him punching my body, so I'm going to go half guard here. And that'll be the end of round two. Okay. Check the stats. So that round, uh, I won for, I believe I won. I had two minutes of control time just to work on the ground. But again, I'm not going to, I'm not... After that last fight, I don't want the fight going to the judges. But I know round one, I won. 110%. But round two is a kind of a toss-up based off what I've seen. So, who I don't want to get knocked down there. Let me recover. Here we go. Okay. I tried to throw an uppercut. I'm trying to catch him with the uppercut. As you see, he's doing some work with the boxing. Oh, no. Oh no. Shoot the takedown. Nice. See if we can go up. Nope. I'm going to try to counter this guy. Because he's throwing a. Uh... There we go. We rock him here. Body. Body. We're going to pull counter. Nope. Didn't work. Didn't work. Nice. Okay. There we go. We rock him here. Nice. So, this round is a toss-up. There we go. There we go. Body. Overhand. We dropped him. It's smash time. Bingo. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. I just want to say GG's to him. He did do work. He got the knockdown with the high kick. Uh, now, here's the thing. I knew he was playing aggressive, and he didn't make the adjustments to not play aggressive. Um, and because of that, I just looked for a pull counter uppercut that landed clean, knocked him down right there. Uh, well, actually, I landed the, I landed the pull uppercut, right? Then the lead body hook followed by the overhand that dropped him into the sequence here. And I actually want to see the scorecards to see... Who won if uh, I was up um, round two? Okay, but GG's to my opponent here, man. And this will be the last fight on the video, guys. I don't want it to be too long, like I always say. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this one, man. I had it fun making it. Uh, some Hamza Chimaev work. Wow. Okay. Judge 2 gave me a 10-8 one of those rounds. And that probably was round one. I had four minutes of control time. He did nothing. I, he landed three strikes. No, he landed two strikes. I landed 31. <laughs> so that's definitely a 10 a round, man. But uh, GG to my opponent, man. Round one. Look at these scorecards. Judge one had it 19-19. Judge two had me winning uh, 2017. Judge three had me winning 20, uh, 2018. But, hey, it is what it is, man. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe up, and turn on post notifications, man. You guys have a great rest of your day, your night, or your evening, wherever you may be in the world, man. Love you guys. Peace.